When you receive your shade, you'll receive your remote, electrical plug for motor, two end caps, your shade with motor already installed, your hood, and your back housing. To prepare the back of your housing, grabbing your tape measure and pencil, give yourself an inch mark from the top and an inch mark from your bottom and you can start drilling. With your drill and your 3 8 drill bit, you can drill your second hole. and repeating the same process on your opposite side. Now that you have your two holes drilled for your mounting surface, make sure you make a third hole for your motor wire. To install your end caps, you want to grab your Phillips head screwdriver and take your screws out, setting them off to the side. And after you've done that, you can grab your end cap and reinstall it. Now, after you've inserted your last screw, you want to ensure that your end cap is nice and snug up against your housing. And if it is, repeat the same process on your opposite side. To hang your housing, you and your partner will put it up against your mounting surface. And when that's done, grab your drill, pre-drill your top hole. Do you got that? Grab your other drill and your lag. With your partner holding the level in the middle of your housing, repeat the same process on your other side. Now you can install the rest of your legs. Now you're ready to install your roll. To hang your shade, you want to start with your pin end side, inserting it into the bracket. To install your motor side, you want to first start with bringing your motor wire through the third hole that you drilled. When that's ready, then you can install your motor head onto your brackets, ensuring that it's nice and snug, and you're now ready to power up your shade. And now that your shade is installed, the next step is to remove your hood screw with a Phillips tip screwdriver. Repeat the same process on your opposite side. And to install your hood, you want to make sure that the tongue part of your hood goes into the groove part of your housing. And now that your hood is attached to your housing, you want to go ahead and close it.
And now that your hood is closed, go ahead and attach your hood screw. Repeating the same process on your opposite side. To set your limits, you want to first start by hitting your down button. When your shade stops, using your down and up button at the same time, wait till your shade jogs up and down once. Using your down button, you can lower your shade to your lower limit. To finalize that lower limit, press and hold your my button till your shade jogs. And now you've set your lower limit using your up button. Bring your shade up until it stops. When your shade stops, using your up and down button at the same time. Hold them until your motor jogs up and down once. And using your up button, raise your shade to the appropriate height. To finalize your upper limit, press and hold your my button till your shade jogs. And you're now ready to run your shade. To operate your shade down, hit your down button on your remote. To operate your shade up, you'll hit the top button on your remote. 